Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Horizons. Now, this time we're going to go and have a look how to go and find your way around to a certain point on a planetary surface. So, yes, we're talking about longitude and latitude. And this is a little bit more difficult than it really should be, I think. But in the end, even this is not that difficult once you get to know what the hell it's all going on about. So let's jump back into the cockpit of the ship and see what we're talking about. Now, as you can see, we're heading down to the planetary surface. And let me just go and edge out here so we can see the longitude and latitude just that little bit better. As you can see, there are some numbers down at the bottom of the altimeter here. And these are our longitude and latitude. And below that is our gravity reading. Now, the longitude and latitude are also worked out with the compass up on the top of the ship. Now, let's go and actually spin this around to zero. There we go. That is zero on the compass. So what you'll notice when you're traveling down at zero is that one of the numbers is going to be going up a lot faster than the other. Now, the reason for this is technically because we are pointed at zero, otherwise known as 360 degrees, is because we're actually traveling dead north on this planet. So the top of these two numbers is actually the latitude for this planet. So the latitude is going to be measured along from zero all the way, if we flip it around, to 180. So 180 actually counts as going due south. Now east and west are going to be the 90 degree mark, which is actually technically east, and 270 degrees, which counts as west. So using this information, so basically every 90 degrees, so 0, 90, 120, and 270 are the different points of the compass. So what this means is we can go and use these to find a specific point on the planet. Now we don't have any specific point to go and find at the moment but we're just going to go and fly in direction and we're going to go and just see how to go and apply this. So again we're going to go on to go and nose up because we don't want to be in the red zone because if we do we're going to fall out. And now that we are in orbital cruise, we can use this to go and find our way quite handily. So what I'm going to go and do is I am going to go and turn around, go to zero degrees. So we'll get there very soon. There we go. And following that, we can nose up into the sweet spot. And as you can see... Our latitude is going down, which means we're actually going straight towards the north, because zero, 0, is going to be the north pole of this planet, or at least the magnetic north. So now we can kind of spin over, go to 90, and we're virtually moving towards the magnetic north now we're on the correct latitude we're just going to go and change our longitude in order to actually get there so this is how you basically go about finding specific coordinates on a planet if we end up going a little bit too far on the latitude on this we can just nose either side of the 90 degrees to go and change our bearing there now we don't want to end up being too low into the descent or in the ascent because that way we'll go out of orbital cruise and we don't want that now it looks like we're going to overshoot ever so slightly but that's fine this is well within a recoverable area once we get out of glide now the reason i'm heading down at such a sharp angle is it's going to be re changing the longitude and latitude very very minorly so what we can do now is we can turn around and we need to start heading back at around about 90 degrees, maybe? Let's go and check if I am right. Yep, yeah. so heading at 90 degrees, you can see our longitude is actually decreasing now. And as soon as we get on to the zero, we're going to be able to go and start working on our latitude again. 
Now, obviously, when you're traveling out in standard flight, these numbers are going to be going up and down a lot slower. So you really want to try and pinpoint the area as easily as you can, or as close as you can, in orbital cruise and in glide. Because after that, it's going to take a long time to change the specific numbers here, the specific values. What you don't want to be doing is dropping out 20, 30 degrees away from your actual area. Now, the degrees themselves are basically measured from the planetary core coming out between north and south and east and west. So that's how it goes and works. So two, one, and there we go. We're virtually on the magnetic north. And there we are, a little bit of finagling later, you can see that we are exactly at magnetic north. So that's how you go and find your way to a specific point on the planet. Now there is another slightly easy way of working out which way is which, is by facing one of the 90 degrees, so either 0, 90, 180 or 270 degrees, and what you can do then is you can use your lateral thrusters side to side to see which way things are going. And then just thrusting back and forwards ever so slightly, you'll be able to see specific numbers going in specific ways. And then again, that's a great way of finding the exact location you want. Now, normally you're not going to want to be that specific. You really just want to go and find the general area within a square kilometre. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I would go and land here, but I do think that the area below us is not exactly the most hospitable. So that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Like the video if you've liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you. That's what the comments are for. I've been Commander Chaos War from Sci-Fi Gaming. You guys, as always, have been epic. I will see you soon. And until next time, my fellow commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.